everyone. This is Linda from After Midnight Art Stamps coming to you from the Midnight Art Ranch here in beautiful Sonoita, Arizona. And I'm going to show you the pendants that we do at all of our conventions. I have people come back and say, well, I got home and I couldn't remember how to do this and I want to do a bunch of them. So we're going to show you step by step. I'm also going to show you a little variation that you can do to give it a totally different look. So the first thing you want to do is pick out a piece of glass and this is our <coughs> excuse me, midnight art glass. It's a real frosted glass with beveled edges so you can't get cut on it. It's pretty heavy duty stuff. You can drop this on the floor most of the time it will not break unless you're dropping it on a really hard tile floor, then sometimes it will. The next step you want to do is pick out a color of fantasy film. It comes in 14 different colors. comes in a package that looks like this. This particular one is Blue Now, which just happens to be my personal favorite. But they're all beautiful. There's 10 feet in a package, so it's really economical. It goes a long way. And what you want to do is cut a piece larger than your piece of glass. Now I went ahead and started this piece of glass getting it hot just to speed things up. So that fits that piece of glass. Then the next thing you want to do is pick out some colors of opals embossing enamels. And again, I'm going to use one of my favorites. This is Lady Baron Purple. And what I'm going to do is just put a light covering all over the entire piece of glass. You don't want it too thick because we're going to mash the stamp into this. Oh, mash, good technical term. And it's all going to go over the edges anyway, so don't worry so much about the edges. And you don't want a real thick coating because all that is going to go over the edges and then you'll just have that much more to clean off later. So just a nice light even coat. And I think I may throw in a little ferno green. This happens to be one of my favorite color combinations. Okay, that's more than enough. Now you can see how quickly that melts. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick out a stamp and I'm going to use our rose stamp. Makes a really nice image in this particular technique. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my piece of glass out. I'm going to lay my fantasy film over it. I'm going to lay my stamp over that and then I'm going to put a lot of pressure on it. You know, flat of your hand, good pressure. You don't want to be wimpy with this step because the more pressure you have on this, you're forcing the fantasy film down into the hot opals and that's what gives you all this beautiful color. Okay, we should be done. And there you have it. How quick and easy that was. Isn't that beautiful? You can see that on camera. Now the next thing we're going to do is peel this off, wait for it to cool a little bit. I happen to have asbestos hands. I really do. I can handle hot stuff other people can't touch. So don't always do what I do. You go by what your fingers tell you is the right thing to do. If it's too hot, let it cool. You want to trim this and leave yourself about an eighth to a quarter of an inch all the way around the piece of glass. Because what we want to do now is seal this around the edges so that it stays put forever. And save your scraps because we make that beautiful opal fantasy paper out of those. Okay, now to seal these edges, we're going to take this from the front to the back and just do a motion like that. And what that does is brings that film right around the side of the glass. 
And as you're doing this, this piece of glass is going to get hot. So if it gets too hot, stop, let it cool, go back later and do it. Now you also, as you're doing that, you want to keep your pot clean. So just take a paper towel or conventions. I use really cheap, either Walmart or dollar store napkins. You want to put your money in your supplies. Okay, and you just keep doing that until this is all sealed. And then I'll show you another little trick you can do. If you take this, get a firm grip on the pot. Push this up against the edge. Put some pressure on it and slide it. And that will melt all of that down. It'll reseal it and it'll take away any sharp little pieces because you don't want to catch this on your clothes. And again, as you're doing this, this glass is going to get hot. So just do it carefully. Now, if you have a hot knife, you can do all of this with a hot knife rather than using the pot. We can't take those to convention because they heat to like 900 degrees and I don't want everyone getting burnt. So there you are. Now this would be ready for a bale and a chain, which is what we give you at the convention and you in about two minutes can wear it. But we're going to do one extra step that really adds a lot to this and I'm going to show you that right now. What I'm going to do is take a little piece of scotch tape. Just run of the mill, ordinary everyday scotch tape. And I'm going to make a tail on here. And I'm just going to put that down and loop it around my finger. Now it's better if you let your glass cool before you do this, but I don't have the luxury of that kind of time right now. Then what I'm going to do is That's perfectly safe to use, but to be even safer, I attach an alligator clip. Now I have a very nice safe handle so that children can even do this because they're away from the pot and they won't get burnt. Now I have some Opal's Franklin, the clear, in the pot. And what I'm going to do is dip this in that clear. And that's going to give me a totally different look. And then I'm going to show you one other step that you can do to give you another totally different look. Just endless possibilities with these opals embossing enamels in our midnight art glass. Okay, that has melted. What I'm going to do is just float this over those clear opals. And I'm going to let it heat up a little bit so that as it heats, the opals will just attach themselves to that surface. Now you can lift this up and check your piece, see how it's doing. I don't know if you can see on camera the difference that that has made. Now I could stop there or I can go back and I can keep dipping. If I want some texture, I can let it run and that will create some texture on my piece. Or if I just want added thickness, I can keep doing that. Now another thing that you can do, I could stop here and this is absolutely spectacular, but I'm going to show you one other technique. You can get this hot again. Take off our alligator clip. I'm going to flip this over and we're going to stamp into it. And this is the technique that Zeb developed that she calls her faux carnival glass. Now you have to let this cool just a little bit before you take your stamp off. You want to make sure the opals have set up. 